two, three. When I was really little, my parents taught me about God and we went to church every Sunday. Heavenly Father, you always amaze me. Let your kingdom come. When I was in third grade, my dad died because of heart problems. Even though I was really sad, I still had my mom there. She was there to comfort me and she told me that everything would be okay, that he was with God now. After about a year, I started to notice that my mom was acting differently. She stopped working and started to sleep all the time. She didn't even seem like the same person anymore. She had fallen into a deep depression, and when I tried to talk to her, it felt like there was a wall in between us. One day, my sister and I came home from school and found my mom. She had killed herself. She left a note. She was so sad after my dad died, and she wasn't even in her right mind at the time. It was like she couldn't live without him. When I saw her there, everything I knew suddenly seemed to disappear. I was filled with such hopelessness. The person that I had loved the most was no longer there. I was devastated and I had no clue what to do. I didn't know where I would sleep that night or who would take care of my sister and I. I had no one to make me smile, no one to look up to. For the longest time, I couldn't even say the word mom. It hurt too much. A light in my life had been turned off, and I couldn't see anything ever turning it back on. I felt like I had to be strong for my sister, but slowly I began to slip away from everything that had been rooted so deeply inside of me, to slip away from God. I was battling up all of my emotions and feelings, and the pressure began to build. Eventually, I forgot about God completely, straight away from everything that I knew. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, I began cutting. I didn't even want to live anymore. I didn't have a reason anymore to live, to be happy. I fell into this abyss of hopelessness and I didn't think anyone could ever pull me out. I picked up this book series about God, Jesus in particular. It kind of reminded me that there was something in my life that I had dropped. I wanted to go back to it. I knew there was something missing. I wanted to give my life back to God. So one stormy night, I went back to my childhood church. I walked in and sat down, and at the end of the service, the pastor asked if anybody wanted to give their life to God. There was no doubt in my mind. My hands shot up in the air. I knew this is what I had to do. This is where I belonged. From that moment on, I couldn't stop smiling. That light that had been shut off was finally turned back on. I was finally pulled out of the abyss. No matter how bad my life may seem, Jesus is always there for me. My name is Leah, I'm 18 years old, and I have hope today because Jesus came into my world.